while United's Ron Atkinson, certainly looking relaxed enough there, says this weekend will either be the best of the season or the worst for many a long year. And it's Liverpool all in yellow who get us underway on this raw and blustery afternoon here on Merseyside. A wind that will only serve, I imagine, to twist the nerves of both sides a little tighter. So often in these semi-finals, it is the side that settles down first that has most satisfaction in the afternoon. Liverpool in a chain strip of yellow, Manchester United in their traditional red. Taken by Kenny Dalglish, floated in there, and behind for the goal kick. Hughes. Finding Strachan, who's having a lively spell, and his ball encouraging Stapleton to make the break, but Hansen was quicker. Might be a long throw for Manchester United. Ooh, Gobla went for it, lost it, and a chance there. Oh, and what a chance missed there by Whiteside. He couldn't have realised what an open possibility that was. From the moment Grobola went for that ball there and lost it, and it came there, and the goal now is empty, apart from Warp, but the chance was a golden one for Manchester United, and lost for them by Norman Whiteside. It's a long, long clearance. Whiteside might get behind this one, claims the corner, gets it off Phil Neal. So whereas Bruce Grobola can hardly reach the halfway line with his clearances, with the wind against him, that massive clearance by Bailey suddenly put United into a good position. And you can see the nets spilling out through this wind as Strachan puts one in there. Grobola went for it and missed it, and lost it a second time as well. And it's another corner. Grobola claiming that he was fouled. But Liverpool let off the hook twice, and this, with only 24 minutes of the game gone, is the sixth corner for Manchester United. Treacherous conditions for a goalkeeper. And more problems possibly there. And he couldn't quite get to that one, but he got above Hogg enough to make his presence felt. Gitman turning it back again. Stapleton's header. Here's Strachan, finding right side, finding Strachan, and stops by Hansen for corner number seven. And the United fans getting behind their team now. As Olsen prepares to put more pressure on this Liverpool defence, curling it in there, helped by the breeze. Robillard, oh, and he lost it again, and Strachan trying to return it, he comes off to Hoglish. He's hardly had a say in the first half, so well has he been marked. Oh, a mistake there by Hansen. Can Hughes get in? Not enough support for him. Maybe he won't need it. Into the side netting. Well, it's a rare mistake by Mr. Consistency, Alan Hansen, but it lets Hughes in. Sadly for him, there wasn't enough support. He tried his luck, and it ends up a goal kick. And that brings to the end a first half, which, as we all expected it would be, is tight and competitive. And neither goalkeeper, really, neither Bruce Grovelaar uh, nor Gary Bailey, really with a serious shot to save. But plenty of pressure, plenty of tension, and the prize, of course, is such a big one. The, the half-time score here at Goodison Park is Liverpool nil, Manchester United nil. So Manchester United get the second half underway. They now attack the goal to our left. The wind is as high almost as it was in the first half. Lawrenson. Oh, oh it's not often that Lawrenson makes that sort of mistake. And now Strachan is through. And Grobola there saves twice. Uh, he wasn't too sure about the second one. But a mistake by Lawrence and was very nearly punished there by the little Scott. And United aren't done yet. As Hughes crosses it deep this time towards Whiteside. And it might come for Olsen. 
just wide. The chances were there for Manchester United. It's such a battle to find an opening here. Maybe Rush can now. Well, he's brought down, and it's a free kick. Might be a little dipper from Kenny Dalglish. George Courtney getting the wall back 10 yards, which might give him a little more leverage. He's curled it just wide. Oh, there was a moment for Bailey to worry about there. But here's Whelan. Now Lee again. Daryl Lee should have come for Robson. A careful header for Stapleton. Strachan outside him. More as a decoy. Stapleton going on. Played back towards Olsen and then Augustine and that came off Phil Neal. That could have caused a problem or two. Corner given. A signal for Graham Hogg to go forward. Strachan will take this corner. Coming up to 25 minutes of the second half. And Robson! again Biglin with the cross hog up above Rush Lee now Whelan Whelan again a brilliant goal by Ronnie Whelan Bravelar was punching the air and no wonder as Lee plays it in a lovely little touch and Whelan curling the ball what a fantastic goal that was the referee looking at his watch we've had 45 minutes he's checking with both linesmen the whistle's gone for the end of 90 minutes and we get 30 minutes now of extra time. So Liverpool then start this period of extra time. They now attack the goal to our left. Here. Now Gleish. Now who can last the better? Remember Liverpool had such a tough European game on Wednesday night. Manchester United played the previous night at Sheffield, so they both had midweek games. Elglish. So often psychologically, the pendulum continues to swing with a side that's just pulled themselves out of a hole. We don't. Punch for Rush. Back again for Dalgleish. Oh, he done it. Struck him well there. That came off Strachan's hands, but again, it wasn't intentional. And the little spot finds Frank Stapleton. As United comes springing forward now, Hughes has made a dart towards the near post. Here's Mark Hughes, Lawrenson with him. Stapleton again. Olsen's in a bit of space on the far side. A deflection and a goal! United back in the lead. A deflection off a defender. Stapleton will claim it. There's Stapleton. Way through for Hughes. Hughes gets it back to him again. And 
and he's got time to steady himself. And although Robillard dived, the deflection was enough to beat him. And Manchester United are back in the lead. Well, they don't give up hope. And they'll be wanting something from these men in yellow in the next 17 minutes. Just coming to the end of the first period of extra time. Lawrenson has the whistle goes. I don't think George Courtney will allow the managers to come on, although Ron Atkinson's on. Normally you turn straight round and get on with it. Joe Fagan deciding that the players know what's wanted of them. We get this final period of extra time underway. Leading, remember, by two goals to one. Strengthen. Well, what awaits us in this remaining 15 minutes? Robson. Quick on the break, but not so good with the finish. belts it forward and the flag is up for an offside the referee hasn't spotted it and the flag has come down Dalgleish the cross comes in towards Rush and Walsh and they've equalised again for what United will say is the linesman had his flag up and the referee didn't spot it and the flag went down as the referee allowed the game to go on United will feel aggrieved, but Liverpool are delighted. Dalglish played it in, and although it was Rush's header in the end, it's Walsh who finally forces it over the line. There's Dalglish's cross. Rush at last showing true Rush form. A great leap by Bailey. He couldn't hold it out. And Walsh, who shepherds it over the line. 2-2. What an astonishing semi-final this has been. Twice Manchester United have been planning their trip to Wembley. And twice Liverpool dramatically have said, hold on a second. Well, we've had 30 seconds of time added on. Referee looking at his watch, put it to his ear to make sure it was still going. And this dramatic semi-final is over at last. Except that they have to meet again at Main Road, Manchester on Wednesday night. What an amazing finale. At the end of 90 minutes when United thought they were there. And Whelan popped up with his magical goal. Again an extra time when United thought they were there. And this time, Rush and Walsh between them provided the saviour again for Liverpool. Such drama, and it's all to be repeated again on Wednesday night. Let's join Elton Wellsby.